As you start practicing and gain more knowledge regarding how events and tracker work in DHIS2, you may also be interested in the ongoing development of events and tracker features within DHIS2. In this presentation, we are going to discuss some resources you can access after the course that will keep you updated on the latest developments. It is divided into four parts. In part one, we will discuss our development roadmap and provide some background on when to refer to our project management tool called JIRA. In part two, we will give a brief demo on JIRA, including how to sign up and review various issues related to DHIS2. In part three, we will review the DHIS2 release cycle, as well as social media channels that you can follow to receive the latest updates. Lastly, in part four, we will provide some further information on the DHIS2 community of practice. The process to manage event and tracker features is ongoing throughout the year and is compiled as a roadmap for each release of DHIS2. This roadmap is driven both by internal processes as well as the community through use of the community of practice as well as a tool called JIRA. JIRA is one of the key platforms that is used to manage new feature development and bug fixes related to DHIS2 and it is where our roadmap is publicly available. JIRA is useful to the overall DHIS2 development team, but also allows for the community to monitor progress on upcoming features, report bugs, and suggest new features directly to the developers. JIRA can be used in a number of scenarios. This includes when something doesn't work, either in events, tracker, or any other parts of DHIS2. This could be, for example, when you try to save something for your event program and it doesn't work as you expected. You could also use it when you need something that already exists to be improved. For example, you could request that you want to filter out all of your data elements that belong to a data element group in maintenance. The maintenance app already exists and you can search for data elements, but the specific feature you are looking for is not yet available. JIRA is also used when you want to request something completely new. There could be something very specific for your needs that is not currently supported. Note that this is related to the DHIS2 platform itself and not metadata within your own customization. You can add to any new features or improvements that have already been reported. This could be through adding a related comment that you feel would be useful to include into a new feature already being worked on, for example. Lastly, you can use JIRA to follow the development of these new features, as well as any bugs that have been reported. JIRA is meant to make development as transparent as possible. Every feature that is discussed on the roadmap is added within JIRA. For those of you who are interested, we will take a look at JIRA in the next overview so you can sign up and start following or adding to the development process.